Hello viewer, welcome to the Science Hub. My name is Taskin Raza and I'm in Lorto Convent Valley Road in Form 3. And I'm Gloria Kaleha. Today we are going to learn moles. Moles is the second topic in Form 3 chemistry. In life we use various, various words to describe quantities. For example, if there are two, we'll call them a pair. If there are 12, we'll call them a dozen. If there are 144, we're going to call them a gross. So scientists have also come up, away, come up with a way of describing atoms which are together. For example, uh, we have said that if we have one dozen, that represents 12 items. So, if we have one mole of anything, that represents a number that has been tested and found out to be true, 6.0 times 10 to power 23, particles particles so that is basically what a mole is and this number is referred to as Avogadro's constant So Olivia has told you how to get the Avogadro's constant. So from here I'm going to show you how to get the mass of elements in relation to the Avogadro's constant. So for example, let's take an element like sodium. Sodium has an RAM, that is relative atomic mass, of 23, 23 grams. So in any, um, in any element, the in any element, it contains 6.0 times 10 to the power 23 atoms. And this is referred to as one mole. Same for, let's take another element like potassium. Potassium's mass is 39 grams. It also contains 6.0 times 6.0 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms. No, particles, sorry. Even here, yeah, it's particles, not atoms. So, we can, we can find the relative atomic mass of elements. Then, we can also find the relative atomic mass of compounds with the same concept. For example, a compound like For example, a compound like sodium chloride is written like this, NaCl2. This contains Cl2, 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 sodium chloride, NaCl. So, NaCl is made up of sodium ions and chloride ions. Yeah, sodium ions and chloride ions. So, the mass of sodium is 23 grams, according to the periodic table, and chloride is 35.5 grams. So the relative molecular mass, the RMM, of the compound, of the compound NaCl is 23 plus 35.5, which will give you... which will give you 58.5 58.5 grams so 58.5 grams is the relative molecular mass of the compound sodium chloride and this, this mass over here contains 6.0 and stands the power of 23 particles as Avogadro's constant states so we can also find the relative molecular mass of other compounds as well. For example, magnesium chloride. Magnesium chloride is MgCl2. It comprises of magnesium and two chloride mo chlorine molecules. Since there's a two here, this means chlorine is two molecules. So for magnesium, it has 24. This is 24 grams. And chlorine, we know one chlorine molecule is 35.5 grams. But since in this, 
formula we've been given two so we're going to multiply this by two to get 71 71 71 grams so 24 plus 71 will give us 95 grams 95 grams is the relative molecular mass of this formula magnesium chloride and it contains again 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 particles so from here we're going to do similar questions on the same okay so for example i have a question here how many sodium atoms are there in a sodium plate weighing 20 grams 23 grams of sodium contains 6.0 times 23 particles. What about 20 grams of sodium plate? Four. We've been told that 23 grams, since we know that sodium's mass is 23. Sodium's mass is 23 grams. And it contains 6.0 times 10 to the power of 23 particles. And we've been asked how many sodium atoms are there in a sodium plate weighing 20 grams. So this one is the same element, but it weighs 20 grams. So we're going to cross multiply to find the number of atoms in 20 grams of sodium. So we cross multiply. It's 20 times 6 times 10 power 23 over 23 which will give you 5.21 times 10 to the power 23 5.21 times 10 to the power 23 atoms so 20 grams of sodium contains this 5.21 times 10 to the power 23 atoms let's do another question which asks about mass of something So this one asks, how many grams of iron contain 1.2 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms? So we know that the uh, mass of iron, according to the periodic table, is 56 grams. And 56 grams contains 6.0 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms. And we've been asked how many grams of iron contain 1.2. So you will substitute 1.2 here. 1.2 times 10 to the power of 23. We are looking for how many grams are contained when iron has this number of particles. So you shall cross multiply. You get 56 times. Will you please do the calculation? 56 times 1.2 times 10 to the power of 23 divided by 6.0 times 10 to the power of 23 we shall get 11.2 11.2 grams this is the gram this is the mass of iron which contains 1.2 times 10 to the power of 23 particles gloria can do another question on the same mm, the question says find out the number of molecules in 2.4 grams of methane Find out the number of molecules. So, the formula is, yeah, and there are 2.4 grams. We're supposed to first to find what one mole weighs. So, one mole of um, CH4 has what mass? Carbon we know is 12 and hydrogen is 1 but they are 4 so 16 grams therefore if one mole weighs 16 grams what about 2.4 grams how many moles are required? 1 times 2.4 divided by 16. 0 
0 from 2 and 5 moles. But that's not the question. The question in the question we're supposed to find out the number of molecules that are in there. So we've seen that there are 0 0.15 moles. Okay. So let me just have the first part. One mole of methane has 6.0 times 10 to the power 23 particles. What about, now in this case the molecules, what about 0 0.15 moles? How many particles will they contain? So that is the answer to that question. We can also do another question. Determine the number of moles in 13.5 grams of aluminium. The number of moles in 13.5 grams of aluminium. So one mole of aluminium has its RAM is 27. We are given that in the question, 27 grams. So what about 13.5 grams? In general, we can come up with a formula that shows the relationship between the three quantities, uh, mass, molar mass, and number of moles. So, So that shows us that if we multiply, this means you, you are supposed to multiply, and if it, is what is, if it is horizontal, it means you are supposed to divide. So therefore, if you want to calculate the mass, we are going to multiply molar mass by number of moles. If you want to get number of moles, we are going to say mass divided by molar mass. So that is how you can come up with the formulas easily. So that marks the end of today's episode of Science Hub. We'll see you next time.